right guys, welcome back to another video. We are not at LS Nasty, we are at HCR Innovations and I must say, shop goals right here. You got a clean shop, AC, it looks good. You could tell we haven't been in it because there'd be parts and tools and a mess everywhere. But now we're here, so that can begin. Uh, we're down here with Devin. Devin, say what's up. Seven. You guys saw him in the intro and I haven't posted in a while. We've been busy, but we're back bringing you a Slick Rick update. And here we are. So we're gonna do a handoff here. My man, David. Hit him with the selfie cam one time. Selfie. <laughs> All right, so the car, pretty much. We got it set up as a roller, then some. We got engine transmission. Steven needs the rock solid motorsports turbo kit, Hart 140 millimeter turbo, two speed 400, uh, Proline 41X, third gen Camaro. We bought as a roller from Jody Voiles. Race tech seat. That's pretty much the rundown on it. Uh, we build a lot of cars at the shop. We do everything. We literally do everything from fabrication, some chassis work, wiring, plumbing. We do it all, but we have like 15 cars there and we outsource some stuff. So now we're here at HR Innovations with Devin. If you guys don't pay attention to the description down below, you guys really should. Devin's link to his website and his YouTube channel are already always in there and he's kind of going to uh, take some of the weight off our shoulders here. Do a lot of wiring, layout, finishing up, really buttoning it up, so when we pick it up from Devin, we'll be really just about ready to fire it up and, and just do a couple little odds and end things and go from there. Yeah, I'm, uh, my plan here is to uh, wire it and um, we're gonna be using a ECU Masters um, PMU. So Matt is actually local to me, um, so we're gonna work together on this to make it uh, function the way you know, everybody wants it to function. I'm not super familiar with the ECU master stuff, so I'm gonna learn it too. Um, but we're gonna do a Holly Dominator Pro 600. Um, Holly Guru, would you say? Oh, for, yeah. you. for you, oh, mainly, mainly do all the Holly stuff. Yeah, that's all I ever really do. Um, we have, we're booked until March of next year of doing Holly stuff. Uh, John originally was gonna bring me a different car so if you're watching this video and you've contacted me about like wiring your car and, and I told you I was booked out till like next year, it's because he was already on my schedule. So like, don't think I did any favors for him. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone, everyone that like I take cars to, they're at their throats. You guys leave Junior Bissett alone and leave Devin alone. Don't be picking on them. I get, yeah. we have enough cars that we just get spots everywhere. Yeah. So, um, so this kind of fell into, uh, into place. Um, now I will say when you schedule stuff, like you don't, as you guys can see here, three cars in the shop, these three cars are not gonna be in the shop very long. No, 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 no. So uh, the blue one over there, blue and silver one, uh, that's Brad Edwards' car. That one's getting picked up by the end of the week. Um, that's not a car over there that you're allowed to see. <laughs> um, and then there's this, I got another one outside in the trailer. Uh, but then, you know, this, this car will be a little bit longer than my typical timeline. My typical timelines are about two weeks. Um, this will be a little bit longer, but not much. There's a little bit of knick-knack fabrication that needs to be uh, tied up and I don't do that. I work with um, Matt Smith and Performance Fab a lot. So we got a small, probably you know two or three day max list of things that need to be done. Um, so we'll get that taken care of and then um, we'll start wiring it up and making sure everything functions the way it's supposed to. Um, I over deploy it, but uh, Apparently he wants to fucking pull it. This so. is the Crimp King. This is, I, so. Yeah, this is the Crimp King. Okay. Crimp King. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. We haven't introduced my, the Crimp King too, but I am the Crimp oh, King. Oh, okay, okay, so. It uh, makes sense so, now, huh? Yeah, it does, it makes perfect sense now. So uh, he's the Crimp King, even though I've got a crimper and I've been doing it longer than him. He's uh, he's the Crimp King, so he'll be doing that, I suppose, uh, which is fine. <laughs> um, can't be much of a, much worse than some of the other things that he's done that I've seen. The good so, thing uh, is there's not much plumbing on this. No, no, no. I mean, the last couple I've done have been street cars with radiators. They're not much. I mean, compared to... <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, I mean, there's not a radiator or nothing in it, but there's a lot of shit in his car. I think a radiator is the only difference than a... Yeah, yeah no. One, I think we're probably going to do a little bit different and do like we did with the Bad Apple and take it to Brown and Miller. Not because we don't have everything, it's just... There, there's going to be a lot of plumbing on this car and we want to have all the bells and whistles on the fittings because they have some... They have some stuff that's not even in the catalog. Give me an hour and a half of Brad Miller's done. Yeah, those, they're, they're really, they're really, uh, they're, <laughs> sir, they're, you know what you're doing? They have everything that you could possibly want. We stock a lot of it, but, um, 
you know, there's a lot of different angles that, you know, just doesn't make sense to stock. And I'm sure once the Crimp King over here shows up at Brown and Miller, you know what I mean? The women will be pulling their pants off and the guys are going to be lining up down the street wondering if they can get an autograph so he can, uh, you know, show them how to use their, uh, use their equipment. Um, incorrectly. Yeah. Incorrectly. Uh, uh, Here's what not to do. But now, so, um, so before we started filming, we kind of came in here, went over the car front to back. Devin got a list and wrote everything down, uh, what he's doing, uh, what fab stuff needs to be get be getting done, uh, what accessories, what do you call accessories? I want. So, so I got to interject. This clown here, <laughs> we put lighting in all these cars, right? So we make it really bright, really nice to work on, right? Y useful lighting. Yeah, useful lighting, right? Not Fast and Furious stuff. So stuff like if you're looking for your gloves and whatnot. <laughs> Why don't you tell them? I said we need underglow. Like we need we need functional lighting, so we need to have some lighting underneath the rear end. So if we're working on it, we can we can see and some lighting inside the car. But then I said separate from that, we need like lights. So he said something about it. it's got to dance to the music. No dance to the music. No, he no said dance specifically to the music. To dance to oh. the music. What if we put a TV in the door? Uh, no. <laughs> and, and he said something about something in the headrest. I don't remember exactly what that was. Uh, Fish tank in the trunk. <laughs> um, I want, I want there to be, pimp my ride. <laughs> I want there to be lights, so it's like, all right, I'm going to not give Shannon any credit, but I've seen some winter circle pictures of Shannon. He's got some like red underglow, and I'm like, damn, that looks pretty cool. So this he's thing been, here. He's been jacking those winter circle pictures of red under light, underglow <laughs> lights for at least the past two hours. I'm, I guarantee you that if hair could grow on his palms, it would not be there right now. Because he's been jerking that off for a long, long time. Tell me, day. in the winter circle, some like yellow underglow to offset the gold accents wouldn't be just The fire. thing that I'm trying to understand is that you're assuming you're going to be in a winter circle. Ooh. We're getting in the winter circle. Okay. That's what, after hours? No, especially we just go down to Florida and we oh. can pretty much just waltz our way into that yeah. thing. We just show up and we're pretty much like, here's your parking spot. <laughs> here's that's, your parking that's pretty spot. much it. In the winter circle. Thank you. Um, but see, you know what I mean? So many options with the lighting. So we did add some additional lighting, which we're going to do, I don't know, in different areas of the car. So we're going to have some functional lighting. And then I request some additional lighting, mm -hmm. which I think is a necessity. Yeah, I, I, I know you think it's a necessity. How many cars have you done additional underglow? I've, um, well, you know, <laughs> you know, we're not going to get into that. We can't mention that because, um, because I really don't want to deal with that. Okay, <laughs> you know, but so, uh, a nice little touch will be added. But yeah, other yeah. than that, it's pretty. Um, interior lights are filming. Interior yeah. lights are filming. We're gonna do that like just just like a red light, so you guys can see some street outlaws stuff. I hate saying it, but we're going street outlaws with it. Uh, but other than that, it's it, like I said, it's a pretty uh, extreme setup as far as what all we're doing. Just as far as like race car wiring, dual injectors, lockup transmission, all the sensors. Uh, we'll kind of let Devin and Matt go over everything that they're gonna do here um and and kind of just see what all it takes because i don't want they, matt and devin can speak the lingo they're, they're, they're like they're talking oh, a whole different language you need an r32 a j1 connector 23b dash 16 i'm like what the hell are they talking about um so uh to me it's it's most of everything that was going to be going on with this car is pretty basic in my wheelhouse as far as drag cars because um if customers bring us cars that they're like, oh no, I don't need any of that. We typically wire for it anyway, because they're gonna say, well, dang, I really wanted to add that. Um, he's just, you know, Matt's already savvy with all that stuff. So it's, um, we got a good game plan. Um, to me, you know, some of the basics, turbo combo, you need to have exhaust back pressure. They got that handled, you know, we'll wire that in. Um, dome pressure, because you're gonna use CO2. Um, turbo shaft speed, this heart's turbo. While enormous and makes tons of power is the, it's atrocious looking. Uh, but I mean, it makes a hog, it's a hog. Um, but turbo shaft speed, you know, just to record how fast the, uh, the, the actual wheel on the turbo is spinning. Um, using all Rife sensors on this thing. Well, not all, but mostly, uh, all, uh, mostly uh, Rife sensors on it. Um, we've got CO2 pressure, wastegate position, wall foul position. There'd be some pretty trick stuff that um, and I'm sure Matt will wind up popping in with videos once this thing's up and running, tinkering with how he manipulates those things. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll kind of lean off of each other on, like, you know, learning how he wants to do it so that I make sure that I do my part of it right and that he can do his part of it right. Um, 
shock travel, G, uh, VPS, Davis VPS. Um, front and rear wheel speed. Yeah, front and rear wheel speed. Um, kind of the, yeah, I mean, just your basic, you know, 481X, uh, you know, hot rod. Yeah, normal. tire temp, track temp. Yeah, so. all, the, uh, all the bells and whistles that you want, you know, so. Um, should be a pretty bad hot rod. Uh, the, the worst part about it is gonna have to be probably probably that lighting. Uh, it's gonna take a lot for me to swallow my pride and- uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop over on that lighting day. So, just all right, so here's the deal. Devin's got a YouTube channel, which is linked in the description below. If you guys don't already go and follow it, you need to, cause you'll be posting videos on yeah. this. I'm gonna pretty much twist his arm and say, you gotta make a lot of videos on this because I want to watch them because I don't know half the stuff going on. Uh, he won't know half the stuff going on after the video anyway. But I will have watched it. No, that's, won't. that's the thing. No, I will have watched it. But also, I'm really excited to see just the whole video on race car underglow lighting installation. Yeah, there'll probably be a, a three part segment <laughs> um, because I think he wants like RGB dance with the, uh, you know, dance with the music type oh, stuff. Yeah, they need to fade in and out. Remote? Yeah. Remote? Yeah. Like definitely. Yeah, oh, he definitely wanted a remote too. And if you're watching this and you're laughing, you're like, oh man, they must have just been joking around. No, he really does want this gay shit. Like, he really does. Like, we couldn't believe it, but he actually does. I mean, we'll, we'll do a type wrong. S. Do a type S, kid, and you can use your phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. Hey, Bluetooth 2022. You know, you, know, you know what month it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's Pride Month. It's you pushing know. the limits there, guys. I don't know how to edit that one. I'll we'll leave it in. I'll give it to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, you're just appeasing. You know what I mean? You're talking to your own people. So I, I do want to, <laughs> I do want to tell everybody to go check out Devin's channel and watch the updates on this because you know we'll be going wide open at the shop, working on the stuff that we got going on. He's going to be here knocking out stuff on this. It's going to be cool because really, like I said, after this, uh, we're just going to run over Brown and Miller, uh, plumb it, run brake lines, and then just I guess oh, we'll little nitpick stuff like you know punch list, yeah, run over it. So, but you do a lot of stuff where yeah. is I'd say this is kind of more than what you normally do with the fab stuff and yeah i mean i don't well so like again i don't do fabrication you, you don't want me to be your fabricator i promise uh it'd be looking as bad as if john did it boom roasted um uh so you don't want me to be your fabricator at all but i got a really good work, working relationship with a good friend of mine who owns a fab shop about 45 minutes from here and um what i'll do is i'll prep everything so that it's it's one of those like in and out type deals for him as opposed to if you've ever built a race car and you bring it to the fab shop, you drop it off and then on your ride home, you remember 17 things that you forgot to tell them and then you're calling them. And then when you go to pick it up, you wonder why your bill's higher. It's like, well, you forgot about all the things that you just added, you know what I mean? So what I'll do is I'll get everything kind of prepped. Like we're going to do something with the fuel cell, move it around a little bit, um, you know, to, to uh, better access the, the feed to the pump, but I can make templates for all that before it goes to him so that this car is only there for like you know a couple days you know what I mean so like I'll it's a little out of my wheelhouse but it'll be one of those things that um you know it's I don't mind doing it uh for somebody who's actually gonna enjoy their race car uh for your normal stuff though so normal if stuff calls you up say hey uh and my car is ready to be pumped and wired what do you tell yeah. them to have um so if 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 you were interested in having us plumb and wire the car um I always tell people to um to have it ready to fire right so like mount your stuff where you want it like mount your electronics where you want it um yeah it's a huge pain in the ass when somebody's like yeah just put it over here it's gonna be over here somewhere it's gonna be over there somewhere is is four hours of me making sure that this makes me happy <laughs> and then when you get it back you're like why well, do move it a quarter inch over well fucker, if you were gonna move it a quarter inch over why don't you do it yourself right <laughs> the wire isn't long enough now right so so um, if you're gonna bring a car for me to wire and plumb, it's, it's advantageous to you to, to mount all of your stuff where you want it um, so that I don't have to spend the time doing it and making those decisions for you and then arguing with you about this is why I put it here. Um, because, it, I mean, I, again, all my customers have never given me any crap when I have to mount their stuff for them, but it takes time. Like I'm sending you pictures going, hey, are you happy with this? Are you happy with that? And then you're like, well, can you stand on one leg and then bend over sideways and then fucking look at it from three o'clock and then take a picture with no flash. I was actually gonna put my underglow right there. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. So like just, you know, so if you're gonna bring a car to, to be wired by me and, and plumbed by me, if you don't care where it goes and if you say, hey, Devin, follow your heart and be happy with whatever you do, that's fine too. Um, but if you're really picky about where it wants to be, put it where it wants to be, right? Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff that you do, I, I'm, 
I think I've heard you say in videos, if you're gonna bring me a car, you know, have it painted. Like, yeah, they, you yeah. literally fire them up yeah. before they Oh leave. yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, so I prefer to fire these things up. So I always tell everybody that I should be your last stop. So if you're coming to me, I should be your last stop before you go to a dyno or to your tuner at the racetrack or whatever you're gonna do. But I should be your last stop. Um, set the chassis, right? Set, set the suspension up if you want. Um, uh, I gotta, gotta pause right here. Mm -hmm. John, wire the Colorado. The motor ain't even in it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've done, listen, I've done, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've mis misled some people where I'm like, yeah, it's ready to fire up and there's literally a motor and transmission in a car and we have to delete for a race in three days. I've done it, but you're you're making out all right on this deal. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you really are. No, this you really are. Good. You so, have a bite in you? Yeah, so or, I mean, just yeah. this thing. When I first showed up at LS Nasty, you couldn't see. There was no lights in the shop and we had the flashlight. Not a flashlight, the, the flashlight. So if one person was using it, you just had to wait. Well, that's really the key to productivity is to have one flashlight in the shop. That's like a, <laughs> I really can definitely see you running around and barking orders too at everybody. So why isn't oh, it yeah. done? You'd be surprised how efficient the person with the flashlight is. Oh, I because bet. if they lose it, their efficiency drops. Oh, oh I bet. <laughs> uh, but no, so again, if you're gonna bring a car to me, I like to, be every, I like to try to be everybody's last stop. You know, like every single wire, no matter what it is and where it goes, gets labeled. So, um, you know, you can pull every wire out of the car and then put it back if you're competent. You know what I mean? You can, you can get the car to run again. But needless to say, I try to say, man, paint the car. I don't scratch stuff. You know what I mean? Like we're in a really clean environment. Um, you know what I mean? I, I cover up everything. Um, I probably won't go through the hassle of this because, you know, well, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's also, a, it's a tool. Yes. These are right, right, right. a lot of people have race cars and they, this is their, not that this isn't our baby or anything, but push comes to shove. I'll kick the door off if I got to make it to the next round and I'll tape it back on. Right. That's so it. like, so for somebody like him, he's rough on shit. You know what I mean? Um, he just is. I've been around him long enough to know he's rough. You know what I mean? Like really rough. It's pretty terrible sometimes. But uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna take a ton of extra. I mean, obviously, I would tape up anything that's painted. You know, our body surface is painted, and make sure that you know we don't do anything additional to what he's already done. You know what I mean? So yeah, the, the Milwaukee tools in the shop need a trigger stop. With yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's going in. Yeah. When it starts ugga dugga on the first two threads. Yeah, well, I've always said that cross threads are better than no threads. Oh, you right. know what I mean? So, the one time you still convert that. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. You have to heat at circle B for, <laughs> for fixing all my converters. Um, but, uh, but no, so it should be uh, this again. This one's gonna take me a little bit longer just because I have to coordinate a little bit of fabrication and whatnot. I got another Look, um, he's right around the corner. Yeah, so. he's about a 20 minute ride from me. Um, so when it comes time to uh, to start doing that kind of stuff, it'll be. You know what I mean? We'll be able to work yeah, on it together and come and, over a day and we kind of yeah. First time on, on the channel, we're using uh, ECU Masters, uh, which is like a control panel relay board switch panel on steroids with that solid state dumbest, relays. That was the dumbest explanation I ever heard in my life. Uh, for everyone at home that doesn't have any idea what he's about to say, it's a very capable power distribution model. They have so, 21st century stuff, like you know, it's. Um, it's you get rid of all of those relays, you know what I mean? And like those God awful terminal strips that people use. Um, and they all go in a box and uh, it's all in one little you, unit. You and need to make a shirt, just say no to terminal yeah, strips. Yeah, oh, it needs, oh, needs more than a shirt. Uh, uh, anyway, so all your, basically all your relays are controllable and programmable inside of one little unit. And um, it distributes power throughout the car. So for high current stuff, like this is gonna have a scavenge pump on it, lighting all of his gay lights that he's gonna have all over the place. You know what I mean? The, the reverse lights and um, uh, the, the trans brake oh, on wait, the button. Yeah, yeah, the reverse on the button. I cannot stand a car if you put it in reverse and it goes into reverse. Or it'll, it'll still be able to do it that way. If yeah, yeah, yeah. So once he gets like, once he realizes that like, you know, an ECU can control a fan, uh, <laughs> you know, and he doesn't need a toggle switch somewhere, we um, we'll just program it to make it function. You change it to where your, uh, when your boost controller's armed, the lights turn green so we know like oh wow. really? look at that i mean there you go the, with the lights endless opportunities which i'm excited well, what about. i was planning on doing without telling you was um when you armed the boost controller it was going to sound a horn <laughs> <laughs>
and I was gonna put a horn on here. You do like a Uga horn? You know what I mean? It was just not gonna stop. Everyone watched that. The whole time. <laughs> like, you know, you just, you know, until you feel the power of the car and that horn's on. It's just screaming the whole time. This could be dangerous having, yeah. having Devin do everything in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'm sure. But well, I think it'll come out. It'll be a it'll be a cool project, you know. So don't anticipate me to do updated videos like he does because um, no, you guys can anticipate somewhere in between me and him in that range. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna up his uh, we're gonna up his video videos <laughs> a week if this makes sense. I don't um, know what I'm talking about. He's got a better chance of getting pregnant than he does getting me to convince me to do something I don't want to do. So <laughs> I'll make videos when I see fit, uh, and that's that'll be kind of just it. You know what I mean? So. Uh, but also, we but do I will talk document about, a lot of this. We do want to talk about on, on a separate note here, something for more of you guys at home. You want to talk about any of the, the DIY stuff coming out uh, in the future, some Holly stuff? Oh, uh, we're coming out with a, our own plug and play harnesses for Chevrolet. Uh, it'll cover all Chevrolet, all swaths of Chevrolet, and so it'd be a plug and play harness for this. Uh, 481X would work with this. It would work with a small block Chevy, big block Chevy, 24XLS, 58XLS. Um, It'll be pre-wired for big wire coil kit already. It'll be pre-wired for these big atomizer injectors or AFIS injectors where they need a whole bunch of current. Uh, a little relay box built into it. It's going to be a slick piece uh, until I have them completed and ready to ship. I don't really want to, you know, get into too many details, but I am going to send one to him and let him tinker with it and I'm sure he'll make a video and yeah, make a job can install it. Yeah, this Eddie, is, this Eddie is Murphy. Gonna be the real test. Yeah. And it, what it is, is essentially when you order your Holly Terminator, you get your Holly harness, which is there's nothing wrong with it. This is going to be the next level up. It's gonna be nicer, it's gonna be better materials, it's going to be just a higher quality, it's gonna yeah. look nicer. So you guys can really elevate your build if you don't have the funds or don't have the time or the resources to take it to someone to get professionally wired, uh, this will be kind of the bridge. The, the bridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the goal here is to um, get you get you guys a harness that is um, it's high pot tested, so that you know that you don't have to any concern about a um, a bad crimp or um, a bad splice. Uh, all the all the splices in the harness are going to be ultrasonic welded. Um, it's going to be really nice. In my opinion, it's going to be very nice for the target market, which is you're willing to spend a couple more dollars in the plug and play stuff from Holly, but you get a hell of a lot nicer product. So, um, so they should be out, you know, hopefully we'll have them ready to start, you know, advertising and shipping them in the next, uh, I would hope 30 days, but it might be a little longer than that. And not to mention, you guys got a bunch of stuff up on the website. So for yep. any wiring needs or really any race car parts, yeah. hit your innovation. Yeah, you guys do like uh, cool harnesses, injector harnesses? All yeah, so we do some DIY stuff. So like, it, you know, we do, we do mail order harnesses as well. So we do like a mil spec uh, um, injector harness, but like if you wanted to build your own, we sell you all the material that you need. So, you know, the, the correct connectors, the boots, the labels, the clear heat shrink, the DR25, the right size wire, the right size connectors, or the right connectors, the stub splices, and instructions. So it's, um, I actually really like selling our DIY injector harness kits to people that are interested in having their car wired because after you do it and you spend like four hours, you're like, holy shit, this is actually really hard but it's fulfilling that you've learned how to do something like, you know, pretty nice. Um, and then you don't bitch when I give you a, a, a quote on wiring the rest of the car. Yeah, no, people when they say, they hear like, oh, you're just wiring it? They have no, no idea. No, no I will say this. Matt's kind of taught me the buy once, cry once, right? Yep. You will save, I will say thousands, tens of thousands of dollars if you take it and get it wired correctly the first time and have it done right instead of going to the track fighting an issue, you fix the issue. You go to the track again, have another issue. You do that four, five, six, seven, ten times, you could have paid for getting it wired correctly the first time. You're in the semifinals, a streetcar takeover. Oh. And the relay board just shits out and you're punching it and you said, man, I should have rewired this. I should have spent the extra money, but I didn't. So right then and there, it cost me, what, three grand yep. because I had that race locked up. Yep, yep. We, uh, we, we, we always try to preach the, the buy once, cry once. And, uh, you know, we work within everybody's budgets. Um, not everybody, ha you know, wants to or has the budget to spend a fortune on every nook and cranny of a car. So we, you know, at least for us, we, we're different than a lot of other companies in this industry. And that is, if you get a quote from me, it's going to be high. So when you get a bill from me, it's going to be low, lower than the quote, right? And the reason being is, 
I don't want to deal with you showing up all pissed off because your, your actual final bill is over what your quote was, right? That way, when you get your bill, you're like, hey, I'm happy. And then I'm happy. And then you pay me. And then everybody's happy. And then you leave. Reverse psychology. And, <laughs> and if you've agreed to pay just for big number, big easy numbers, let's say you agreed to pay $10,000 to have your car wired. And you're like, okay, my quote was 10 grand. And then you get a bill and it's 8,500. In your mind, you just save 1,500 bucks, right? Uh, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I knew the job was gonna be right around $8,500, but I'm not gonna tell you $8,500 because I'd much rather have you commit to $10,000 because there's a good chance you're gonna show up with something that ain't right anyway. You're missing something and that's the bill. But, um, but now everybody's happy. So we always quote high, which is quite a bit different than a lot of other people in um, the race car world. Sometimes you just get the, you know, uh, hey, your bill's gonna be four grand, and then you get your bill and it's nine, and you're like, well, that's just racing. That's between 20,000. Yeah, you know, and then when you question it, they tell you, you know, that's between you and God. I don't know. Uh, so, you know, it's, um, take, it for, take it for what it's worth, but that's how we operate, so. Except the last part that Devin said is, you pay and then you leave, unfortunately, with us and, and the whole LS Nasty crew, the, the leaving part, Never happens. Yeah, so his bills are actually going to be dramatically higher, um, <laughs> and, and and the bill is actually going to be higher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so he didn't just hire all the way around. <laughs> see, the good news here with this scenario is, is that I never quoted him. Right. <laughs> so uh, since we never quoted him, this works out really well for me. So I'll just be like, "What are you talking about? I never give you a quote." And you guys can go on to HR Innovations, <laughs> and they have a firm where you could pay monthly for all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, we might. I don't know. Uh, but um, you guys offer a lot of other products too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poly distributor. Yep. Davis Technologies. Yep. Davis Technologies. Force Aphis induction turbos. Uh, Aphis injectors. Yep. Uh, Rife sensors. Yep. Rife sensors. Motion Raceworks products. Um, we do uh, a race pack, MSD, TBM brakes. Um, uh, we kind of, kind of uh, Earl's Plumbing, Brown and Miller. You know, so if you need Brown and Miller plumbing, uh, we sell all that kind of stuff. We have a lot of. Uh, we carry all oh, Cameron's converters and torque converters and, and transmissions. We've got a lot of uh, different brands that we use and that we worked with for a long time that we're happy with. And, um, you know, so we try to, we don't have everything on the website, but if you wanted wiring supplies, you'd have to contact us because I don't really genuinely sell just like one connector here and there. But, um, you know, we have our little DIY kits and we have our big DIY kits. You can build your, you can wire your whole race car yourself with all top level materials. Um, the only thing that we can't provide with those is the skill. So, and that is the biggest. So I can't say the skill. I mean, I can say the skill, but you got to wait till March. So, you know, uh, and if you don't want to wait till March and you, you know, you can just try to get the you skill yourself. You ever thought about doing a wiring class? I thought about that. Um, what about a tuning class? Well, we have those coming up actually. So, um, I'm going to roll this thing out into the Creek on Saturday and Sunday. So we got some space in here, but, um, <laughs> our Are you first doing tuning class here. Yeah, we're going to do them in here. So, um, so, uh, so we're doing, um, it's classroom setting type classes on holly efi so the basis of the classes is 110 percent holly efi um not like what holly does in bowling green they do a good class um i'm not going to teach you about your kick down cable on your sniper because i don't give a shit um, a little bit more advanced Some, right. somebody's trying to race race car type stuff right the people that are trying to make uh you know 700 plus horsepower right so um there's a lot of stuff that comes to daily drivers that is irrelevant to you so my focus was to deal with people that are more inclined to go racing and making horsepower so uh i used to teach a bunch of these class i taught a bunch of these classes a few years ago at a uh, at a different shop they went over well and uh we decided to, to to bring them in house and what i learned from those classes that we did at that other shop was uh the dyno was the worst thing that we could have had for a class because it turns into a dick swinging contest uh and everybody just like kind of gets a raging hard on when they're around a dyno and everybody wants to talk about it like him but the dino king crimp right. king i mean you name it i'm the king right 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 um led king yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i can't wait to see when they're done with that but so so i said you know what uh, after all these years when we did all these classes i've done them in a couple different places too you learn the dino didn't do anything to educate anybody you don't learn anything on the dino because people just get too excited about hearing the car run and stuff so i wanted to focus more on just teaching you how to do what you're supposed to do and uh so everybody will leave with a solid understanding of you know how to tune anything really with holly efi as well as some of the advanced stuff that's in the uh in the software as well as like io and all that kind of stuff plus we're going to be giving you 
well not you well maybe you like if you're watching this and you come to one of our classes but most of them are sold out already so what oh we have 13 total spots left out of 120. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I don't really know why I'm pitching this because, like, not 13 spots. I mean, hey, hey I might be able to get you 13. Yeah, uh, 13 yeah spots. I mean, if you want to come, you'll learn a lot. Uh, if you don't want to come, that's fine too. If you don't come, um, you don't have the right to really ask me shit. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Come Michael, on. please. I mean, you can learn a lot on Unless your YouTube Unless you channel. go to the comment section of his YouTube channel when he posts videos and ask him whatever. You well, want. you can ask all you want. I don't respond. <laughs> um, but, like, so we're gonna talk about that for a second, right? So I think this is a good oh. educational topic for your viewers and everybody's viewers, right? But people on my channel, they don't like really, like they may watch it, but like the moment I start going on a tangent, they're like, fuck him. And then like they're in the comment section, like I hate you and yeah, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, I've had a lot of great outpouring of people that say like, thank you so much for what you do, which is the reason I do it. But um, if I make a video and it's public and it's to educate somebody, that's your education. That doesn't mean that like, I'm not the teacher today to say so you get to answer, ask me a whole bunch of questions, right? Like you just don't, right? Like you watch the video. And if you have a whole bunch of questions about the video. Rewind the video. Rewind the video. And like watch it again, right? right. Guys, in the comments. You know what I mean? Oh, no, in, I'll in talk the, about something and I'll get a hundred Instagram messages. Yeah. Not that big people know me on Facebook. Yeah. And it'll be like, hey, uh, I'm gonna send you my uh, HEFI file and you can just do that for me. <laughs> in the description yeah. of this video, under the HCR link, I'll put Devin's phone number. You guys can contact him. Really call <laughs> and be like, hey, I can't get my methanol car to crank up. Do I need a primer pump? He's, not a, big, he's not a big texting guy. <laughs> so just call, call him. Just call him. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you didn't listen to my voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but, but really anybody who, anytime, uh, not with John, he puts out videos to show you what he's doing, but he doesn't really know anything. Uh, but if Matt's doing something and he's te trying to teach you how to do something, or you know, I make a video and I'm trying to teach you how to do something, the, the goal is to teach you there. It's in the video, like you can rewind it, man. Like and it's there forever too. Yeah. At any point in time, you can go back. Right, uh, right, right. It's always there. So like by hitting somebody up and be like, hey, how do I do this? And you're like, what, did you watch the video? Well, I watched like three minutes of it and then like I ate dinner and then I forgot about it. My kids were yelling, well, that's your problem. Right, like I don't have kids, and the whole reason I don't have kids is so I can sit through and watch YouTube videos without being interrupted. <laughs> right, that's the real reason. Uh, no, no, kids gonna like them. Um, so uh, we don't like them, I should say. But um, but no, I mean if you get interrupted, uh, hey, turn the camera. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's enough. That, yeah, yeah, my fiance points out something. Uh, uh, if you're gonna hit me up with a whole bunch of questions, there's a link on my website where you can sign up for virtual consultation. And if you've got, if you want to learn something one on one, you can do it there, right? Like you, you have to pay for it. That's the whole thing, right? So that's usually where everybody's like, "Oh, I don't need to do that. I'll just gonna message you on Facebook and you'll do it for free," right? No. Um, but if you do actually have some, if you want to learn, if you're if you're out of state and you can, or really far out of state, because we got guys coming from California actually to our classes, uh, which is weird. They're flying all the way from California. Um, I'd want to get out of there too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but the, uh, so if you wanted to get like one-on-one -on -one time where we just go on TeamViewer and I can educate you on whatever you want, uh, we've, I think we logged probably about 35, 40 hours on it last month. And uh, everybody's been very, very happy, you know, getting cars for fire ups, uh, educating them on how to do whatever they want to do. Uh, it's difficult to do first fire up on like a say 600 inch you know pro charged uh big block on uh 93 octane and then e85 and then on methanol did that one last week uh <laughs> oh I, yeah the, the team viewer stuff is, is so, so so my hat is off to you because well it's what we don't what i don't do is i don't just tune cars on team viewer i don't like doing that i'd rather teach you how to do it so um the goal here is to get yourself sufficient so that you don't have to call me anymore because that's the goal yeah right how do you like the ones where you send them a uh, a startup file and then they send you back a time slip Oof. oh <laughs> <laughs> I, i've been there and i'm just like uh how'd it run just a wealth of knowledge in today's video so guys uh we're gonna wrap it up here uh if you guys need anything check out devin's youtube channel check out their website go Look at it. They offer a bunch of different services, products, everything. Hit him up. Uh, his phone number won't be in the description below, so don't no, contact no. him. No way. Uh, but yeah, anything you guys need, uh, hit him up. As far as the Holly stuff, I'd say he's the man to go to. 
Uh, we're gonna head back to the shop and get to work, leave you with this gem. Check out his mm -hmm. YouTube channel for updates on this. Uh, Matt, he's actually gonna go to work. He's got himself a job, see so his collared shirt and all. Good yeah. job, bud, really stepping it up. And uh, we're gonna ride our four hours back home and work on some more shit. If anybody wants a summer job, it's all you. This one's all you. Oh, Storm. Oh, oh no. God, fumbled it. Go to uh, your email and type in johndoctorcovery at gmail.com no, 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 no. and you guys can contact me to get employed for Stormwork. Stormworknc at gmail.com. Damn. You messed that one up. <laughs> Every time. Oh.